right, well, uh, be good, house. Don't fall apart while I'm gone. Um, I'll miss you. Oh, man, I just realized I'm running across America barefoot. Oh, it's really happening. He was sort of standing in the corner of this room, and he said, I'm going to go on this barefoot walk. This is how I walk through New York City, barefoot, barefoot. My journey across the country is a metaphor to not give up. There is something beautiful about the road. It's a symbol of uh, going somewhere. And I just prefer to do it on my own two feet. There's Julie. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm wonderful. Welcome everyone to talk about this special film about a special guy. And uh, I guess uh, Jimmy Murray, we can start with you. Uh, when Mark told you he wanted to walk across America, was there a part of you that wanted to talk him out of it? I, this actually was his second walk across America. In 2010, he walked across America in 81 days. So when he told us, he gave us a little more warning and he was going to do it. There was no way to talk him out of it. And my philosophy was to always support him in whatever he had whatever he wanted to do. Well, so maybe, maybe I should have said, talk him out of it going barefoot. That's what I meant. <laughs> oh, okay. Barefoot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I wish he could have worn shoes, but Mark and I ran together um, and we were running in Maine and on a country road that was tarred, but Mark was running on the side of the road that had all the rocks and he was running barefoot. And I just, I'm, he just would toughen up his feet and go for it. But once Mark announced that he was going to walk across America barefoot, it was out there, he wasn't gonna change his mind. And Julie, using Mark's footage and piecing it all together to tell his story, he posted everything to YouTube Live. So you had a remarkable resource of material, didn't you? Definitely, yeah. He was walking barefoot for a hundred days and every day he would film himself and edit together a video and post it to YouTube. And there were about seven hours of barefoot walk videos to go through for the film. And overall his YouTube account had like 500 videos over a decade. So he was a prolific you know, artist and filmmaker and comedic you know, personality activist. Uh, so there was just a lot to sift through to make the film. And, and Jim, you know, he, Mark was such a colorful character. He talks to cows, he talks to turtles, they, total strangers. He was a true naturalist. And I couldn't help but laugh and smile through this whole documentary. He, his energy just comes straight through. Yeah, I'm glad that you brought that out. I mean, it, obviously there, there's a tragic, you know, element in, in, in at, the, at the end, but the, the reality is, and in, in we saw it when we saw it at film festivals uh, a year ago in the fall. I mean, people will laugh, cry, you know, the, it runs the gamut of emotions. But there are times in there, even for Mary and I, it's just hard. You can't help but laugh because that's just Mark. He's so sometimes zany and off the wall, you know. And, and, and Julie, his story started to grow as he walked across America. He just started from it just slowly kind of snowballed. And in fact, you were an avid follower of his. Exactly. Yeah. In 2016, he started his walk in October. It was election season. You know, he was watching the, the rise of Trump coming into popularity and then eventually winning. And, you know, I was following Mark uh, as he was just kind of talking about climate change and the environment in these videos that he would make. Uh, Mark started in Providence, Rhode Island. He walked, you know, through New York City. He was in Times Square, barefoot in Times Square, walking through, you know, Pennsylvania, getting to Ohio, and and so the and hitting some obstacles as the weather turned. Uh, so it was incredible to see him in real time as a fan, watching his journey, and then very devastating to hear that he died. Uh, you know, I, I heard like. I guess it was that day on Facebook, saw it, his friends and family posting about it. Uh, and that's what caused me to reach out to his parents, Jim and Mary, to want to pay tribute to his life through this film. And Mary was, I'm a mama's boy, you know, so did he, did you guys talk every day or how often did you talk? Because 
If I was doing that, I'd be calling my mom 10 times a day telling you where I am and what's going on. We were in contact, not every day, but Mark did call my mother, his grandmama every day. And a lot of times I would be over there. And um, the way it was, I would talk to him sometimes through text or Facebook Live or, or on the phone, but it was not every day because Mark had such a following that he was talking to lots of people every single day. And it was very- I was very lucky that I went over to my mother's place the day before Mark was killed. And he would always say, hi, grandmama, what's the word of the day? She had to come up with a word. She was um, 89 years old. And she would say, grandmama, you need to take your medicine. Go in the kitchen, it's Wednesday. And then I talked to Mark and the day before, and I told him I was going on the march the next day. And he was so happy and we were talking and I told him I loved him and I was so proud of him. And he told me, I love you, mom. I'm so proud of you going. And so we didn't talk every day, but we talked a lot and we always expressed how much we loved each other and how proud we were of each other. And uh, how does Mark's legacy continue today? I understand you have a foundation. We do. We started a nonprofit, Mark Bomber Sustainability Fund.org. We're trying to do good things in Mark's name. We want to do and support causes and things that Mark would believe in and let his name um, that people will still today know about Mark Bomber. Well, my heart goes out to both of you. What a wonderful son you had and also what a wonderful legacy making a tragedy out of something positive. And Julie, it was such a great documentary. You did a really great job on it. So I'll definitely spread the word about him and his life in this documentary. And I thank all of you for joining me today. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck.